What is that supposed to mean? Judging from the fact that you have unreadable bones, you are certainly neither a Yao nor a human. A Grom King? No. Oh, I'm also an Arcanist. My instinct told me that I should flee to the end of the world the moment I saw you. You did run away, along with my poor teammates, who were turned into Lushu's. I could not have imagined being around someone with unreadable bones. Turns out, it wasn't as strange as I thought it would be. Not much difference, you mean? Like the people here believe that there's no difference between humans and Arcanists, which makes me very surprised. Based on the bones I've seen, they are different. It's just that. Doesn't make a difference, right? We are the same when we desire something. I wasn't questioning you or the temple when I asked you about flying to the other side. I wasn't even questioning the strange condition of this arcane skill. What do you mean? I was... running out of options, I guess. It was just some futile effort I made when I realized this was a dead end. But I have no idea how it got to this point. to ask even if there are no answers yes I think it is the same for all these people they keep asking even though they hear no answers it's okay I know what you're going to say. How are you going to do it? We don't have any wooden chips like that. I will use my finger, mud, and water on the ground. You can ask too, whatever means you use. What I want to know. Child. What's your question? Say it if you like. I think I will write it down. going to carry out the fortune walk?
They're eating wooden chips in their mouths. They're all here, right? Yes. With the wooden chips. They are here for the divination. But the chips are empty. They will have to ask in their minds. What would you like me to do? You can... You can be their mouths, hands and eyes. You can also do nothing. Just like the good sir waiting behind us. I see. If they are here for the divination, I will help. Madam, after we go back... You're wrong. It can hear us. It was her. The noise I heard. It was Chen Neng Se. Right? It was an unusual disturbance when she jumped over the bridge. That... that was Jiu Niang Zi? Mr. Liu, did you see that? Yes, that's her. That's really her. 
By heaven, she did it. She jumped over. This... that... <gasps> That's right! It's Chunansi! I saw her turn into a Lushu! Madam, she turned into a real Lushu! The people are back! And the river! The river! Ah, uh, the Pele River is rising! I can talk. My body's... What's happening? Wait. I... My body is back? She jumped over the bridge. She jumped over. In the human form. She didn't fall. I'm not sure if I saw it clearly. I think for an instant, she turned into a real Lushu. Is this the power of the divination? The magic of Ask in the choir? Oh wait, the people in the city have come back. So maybe... What's going on? Oh, my head hurts. Mr. Kulik! Oh dear. I had the strangest dream. And Mr. Yurian! Everyone! They are over there! Madam, let's go see them! It's indeed a rare occasion. <laughs> 